everyone, Diana here from LegitWayCeremony.com. Um, today's video, I'm going to share with you three important life lessons that life has taught me. Now, this is something that I was actually forced to look into when I just finished reading this awesome book called um, Six Months to Six Figures by Peter Boot. It's a really awesome book. I suggest you check it out. You know, it's on Kindle. That's what I'm doing now. I'm reading like a book a week, two books a week, a book a month. I'm trying to figure out how to get this done while I drive. All right, let's just hold on to it. Let's, I'm just going to do that. So anyways, so there's a part in the, in the book where, you know, he asks, he's like, what are three important life lessons that you have learned? So today I'm going to share with you three important life lessons that I have learned. And, you know, maybe you've learned them too. Maybe it's something that you've experienced. So lesson number one is, you know, if you don't work on your dreams, someone's going to pay you to work on theirs. And it's true. You know, that's how businesses are made. You know, people that work at KFC, their, their lifelong dreams weren't to work at KFC and make fried chicken. That was their Colonel's dream. Colonel Sanders' dream was to make fried chicken. It's not your dream. So focus on what you love to do. Focus on what makes you happy. And make sure you implement that into making it in your own business, you know. So you can have the time to do whatever it is you love. Um, okay, so here we go. Lesson number two, I'm trying to drive. I don't know why I do these while I drive, but like, it gives me solitude. So anyways, don't do it. Uh, lesson number two that I've learned from life is worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. This is a quote I got from um, Van Wilder, the movie with Ryan Reynolds. And it's so true though, like, when you worry about a problem, you're not solving the problem. You're wasting your time, you're stressing yourself out, and you're not getting anything done. So the best thing to do is just to stop, think, analyze a problem, and come up with a solution. And honestly, at the end of the day, if you can't come up with a feasible solution, just move past it. Now, when I say move past it, I don't mean ignore the problem. I'm, I'm just telling you, let it go. You know, just let it go. If it's, if it's something that you can't fix, then don't worry about it. You know, worry about on the things that you can fix, right? And that's... That's life lesson number two, guys. So life lesson number three is basically just, just it's just like the Nike, the Nike logo. Just do it. Just you know, get it done. Whatever it is that you have to do, get it done. You know, um, just get it done, guys. Like, there's no other way to say it. Like, if you have something to do, don't put it off for tomorrow. Don't try to break it down. You know, sometimes with goals, it is okay to do that. But you know, you have to create content for your website or if you have to meet up with a client, or if you have to work out, which is like something that we all have a problem with doing sometimes. You know, don't don't come up with excuses, just get it done, you know? Um, I'm a procrastinator, I'll admit it. You know, I have a problem sometimes staying focused, so I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm tired. You know, I have to create a blog post, and I'll be like, oh, I got two paragraphs in. I'll do, I'll do two paragraphs tomorrow. And then two paragraphs tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow afternoon comes along and I still only have the two paragraphs. So, like, just do it, guys. It's Putting it off isn't going to get it done any faster. And if anything, you're going to, you know, your level of focus when you first got started on that task that you had to get done, it's going to decline. And that means the quality of whatever it is you had to do is going to decline, you know. And that's not something that you want to experience. That's not something that you want to do. That's not something that you want to get into and used to when you're an entrepreneur. You know, when you're running a business, it's really important that you're consistent with the quality of value that you provide for your customers. And, you know, people see that. So there you have it, guys. Three important life lessons that life has taught me. And I want to know what you guys think, you know. Are these life lessons something that you've learned? Or, you know, are they different? What kind of life lessons have you learned? You know, please feel free to like, share, comment with me. Just let me know what you guys think. Let me know, you know, your life lessons. And if you do get a chance, please check out Six Months to Six Figures by Peter Boot, guys. That's it for today. Make sure to check out my site for awesome tips on starting a business online. And have a great weekend, guys. It's Labor Day weekend. Enjoy it with your loved ones and have fun.